Hey guys, we're gonna talk about LinkedIn Spotlight ads. I'm gonna jump in the feed, show you an example. I'm gonna show you LinkedIn's uh, examples and best practices. I'm gonna show you current examples from our actual account. And then I'm also gonna go into a brand new campaign, show you how to even find those, set up your first one, uh, and walk you through that, that as well. So let us dive in. And so we are currently on the feed and this is an example over here of a spotlight ad. So here Starbucks um, is showing employees get their degree paid for. So this is a, they're kind of funneling this into looking for uh, new employees. So if I actually click apply, it's going to take me to the Starbucks career page uh, where I could apply for a job there. So that's a nice example of a spotlight ad. Let's see if I, oh, actually, this is another spotlight ad right here, uh, which is really funny that I love getting targeted with my own ads and I don't uh, eliminate myself from the group because I actually enjoy seeing them out in the wild. So in this one, I'm using it slightly different and I was gonna show you this in a minute, uh, but in this one, I have uh, updated LinkedIn ads demo video. So basically I targeted past uh, past website visitors who had visited a long time ago, but maybe hadn't um, come back in a little bit. I should probably adjust that now because I think I, I regrouped that. Uh, so I should have probably turned this one off. So when I updated the video, I thought spotlight ads would be a good way, a cheap and effective way to say, hey, you know, if you haven't checked this out in a while, take another look. So then if they hit watch video, it doesn't actually go to a website. It actually will send them to, actually, I don't know. Uh, it'll send them to this uh, this demo video here, which is a five minute walkthrough on my YouTube channel, which then they could subscribe, join the organic community there and help us continue to establish trust and credibility. Um, so that's the other that's the other really good thing about spotlight ads is that the URL, the destination URL, which means when you click this button where they go is not limited uh, like with follower ads, it's limited to your company page. With Spotlight ads, you could send them anywhere. You could send them to an organic post on your LinkedIn account. You could send them to a YouTube channel. Uh, you can send them anywhere you want. So this is another one. This is a guy who uh, I'm actually connected to on LinkedIn. I've seen his videos. He's omni-channel retargeting me, and he's using this Spotlight to funnel people to a webinar, I think. So it's a, it looks like a ClickFunnels page, reserve your seat now. Uh, so that's how he's using his Spotlight ad. And they're, they're, here's a, oop, here's another one that's registering to an event, uh, using a spotlight ad. So you get this text up here. It's, it's also dynamic. So it uses my, you know, or the prospect that you're targeting. It uses their, um, profile plus the image you choose or your company, uh, logo. You get this text here. You can customize the text on this button. Um, and you can pick whatever destination URL you want. So it's kind of cool that um, most of these are just spotlight ads. Usually it's a mix. It's follower ads, text ads. So this is a company page follower ad. Maybe I just got lucky because uh, I started recording this. I mean, I can't choose what's going to show over there. These are company ads. Uh, that's another spotlight ad from uh, in a company ad. All right, so we'll move on. Uh, I think you got the gist there. So next, I'm actually going to not apply to Starbucks. I'm, I'm pretty content with my job right now. Uh, I'm going to dive into LinkedIn Marketing Solutions, so what they recommend. So if you go to LinkedIn Marketing Solutions, they'll show you, um, you know, this is an example of a spotlight ad for them um, or what they recommend. It has the specs here, 300 by 250. Uh, it gives you the headline, description, company name, all the text recommendations and limitations for that and URL requirements, and these are, oh, I guess maybe it is a drop-down option. We'll look at it when I dive in. I thought maybe you could, no, yeah, that's true. It's YouTube that you can customize the uh, CTA to whatever you want. LinkedIn's not quite that evolved yet. So helpful resources here. The next, I'm gonna show you our actual examples. So one of the things I love about Spotlight ads is the, um, it's cheap impressions. If you've seen my video for text ads and follower ads, it's very similar, where it's very underutilized, cheap impressions. So let's look at this. Um, 37,000 impressions for $149 spent. Let's compare that uh, to some of my other, uh, let's actually go by spent. Oops, let's go into retargeting. 
I just want you to get the overall uh, idea of how effective these are or, or what you get for it. So my, my most spent campaign, and this is retargeting, is $290 for almost 3,000 impressions. Um, and if we go find the spotlight ads, which are down here, it's this one, it's this one here. We have for $31, we have 37,000 impressions. So 37,000 impressions for 30 bucks versus 3,000 impressions for 290. So this is more popular. It shows up in the feed, single image ads. They're going to get more clicks. They're going to get probably lower cost per click. Uh, actually, I don't know if that's necessary. It's definitely going to get a better click per impression, like a um, click-through rate. But click-through rate doesn't matter if you're getting cheap uh, cost per click. So let's look at cost per click just so I'm not completely off here. Um, and you'd think that would be... Okay, so this is getting... 317 cost per click and this is getting 625 so yeah it's getting but i mean you see how often it's showing up on someone's feed and that exposure is is worth a lot to me so let's dive back in to look at the examples but that's one of the reasons i really love spotlight ads is because it's uh it's very cheap exposure in some cases it's almost like free advertising like you could add a spotlight a follower and a text layer with not really adding much budget to your spend uh, and getting a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, so let's look at some of the examples um, more, real quick. So the cool thing is you can upload whatever um, image you want. So you don't have to use your logo. So here I thought it was funny. I used the uh, Will Smith, Chris Rock kind of meme and I put uh, I put a little tagline on it. It's too small for them to read, but they'd recognize that image. And I, because it, you get so much exposure, like the other thing is the frequency is really high. So this month alone, let's, to give you a better example, 90 days, the average frequency is 14 um, with pretty little spend. So 200, uh, yeah, $260 over the last 90 days. Uh, but the average prospect has seen 14 ads from this campaign, which means I could have 14, 15 different ads in this campaign and it would, it would pretty much be an evergreen where anytime one of my spotlight ads showed on their screen, it would be something new and it wouldn't be the, the same, uh, the same one every time. So that's actually another huge, you know, that's part of the impression share because it shows up so cheaply and so frequently on their feed, you have a lot more creative freedom as far as what you can put on there. So I've done some creative things. Uh, some of the typical things you would do is, you know, like the webinar, um, or just like a basic ad, you know, LinkedIn ads agency starting at 449 a month, click to learn more. I mean, that's pretty basic. They come back to the page. It's a retargeting ad and they're prompted, you know, reminded about who you are and they're prompted to book a call. But what I've done is an attempt to use this space creatively to build trust and credibility is I've actually started funneling them uh, to different areas. So let's do preview and edit. All right, so in this one, I tease them with, you know, we drive 140 plus inbound booked calls from paid ads. Watch this four minute video. They click that, they actually go to a YouTube video on our YouTube channel. It's building our organic community here, it's educating them, and it's establishing trust and credibility for our company. So it's, I think, a creative use of the space there. Uh, the next one is learn how to drive inbound meetings with without lead gen forms. So again, it's educational. It's a video. Um, I Yeah, so you can customize this. Okay. So they were showing options. I thought I was going crazy. You can put whatever you want on this CTA button. Um, and this is, this is a setup. So I was going to show you that next, but whatever. I'll still show you the basics. Eh, no, I guess this will be it. Uh, so you have your headline here. I'm not allowed to say LinkedIn uh, because LinkedIn copyrights that. Uh, so I have to say linked or LI ads. It's kind of dumb. Uh, you have the company name and you can put it to whatever you want. You don't have to put your company. You could put, you know, a little tagline with it, your logo or company image or any image you want. I uploaded an image of Will Smith and Chris Rock. So apparently you can do whatever you want. Um, and then you can use their profile image. I guess I don't know why. I, I guess I don't know why I didn't have theirs. I guess it should catch their attention more, but um, if I don't use it, it just centers mine and 
screw it. Uh, I, thought, I guess I thought that was the, the best thing. So we'll see. I'm not sure what the answer is there. And then you get your description and you can customize your CTA. So that's actually really cool because there's so much you can do with that. Um, so I put watch a two minute video and they go over there, they learn, they're educated, they view um, us more as experts. And when it's time to have their LinkedIn ads manage, we're more likely a choice. Uh, same thing here, convert more website traffic, uh, basic terms for paid ad explain, super just basic educational video, how to run ads. I think all of these are videos. Uh, let me go see. So these are all the newer ones. All these are videos. These are, man, I really just, so yeah, most of the ones I use, I'm not even running the traffic back to my website. It's honestly just videos. And I used this as a way to drive traffic to our organic community, build trust and credibility through the videos. Um, and you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, so that's actually a really good strategy. If you have other communities, I would say, or other offers. So we could use this space to also tell people about our outreach or Google ads or LinkedIn or the uh, website visitor identification. There's just so much you can do with this space. And I wouldn't just get out of the mindset of like, these are just another touch point to like hammer your core service and send them back to the landing page. You can do whatever you want with this space. And the goal of the retargeting ad should be to build trust and credibility with your prospects. So if that's the case, then, you know, just really open your mind to what you could use this very cheap advertising space to do and say, and how many extra touches you have, which means you can really get creative about what you can say. So that is spotlight ads and I love them.